Aziris today shot at a tractor working in Khachik village of Wyasdor province. The driver was able to escape unharmed. We condemn the violence that caused the death of an Armenian civilian. We urge Armenia and Azerbaijan to intensify their engagement, including for the Minsk Group co-chairs, to resolve all outstanding issues related to or resulting from the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. U.S. Department of State's Europe and Eurasia Bureau said in a tweet today. Artsakh parliament factions have issued a statement on the first anniversary of the signing of the statement which resulted in the ceasefire. A year has passed since the adoption of the trilateral statement of November 9, 2020. However, Azerbaijan's anti-Armenian policies against the people of Artsakh continues until today, the statement says in parts. Russian and French ministers of foreign affairs and defense are set to discuss the Armenian-Azerbaijani escalation, among other issues, at their meeting on November 12. The case on the events taking place during the visit of Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan to Sionik region has been referred to court. Goris Deputy Mayor Menuhov Sepian and two others are accused in the case, including some of the close relations of Mayor Arush Arushanyan. They are charged with intentionally and grossly violating public order, which was manifested in open disrespect to the society, combined with intentional damage to property. Talks on Ankara's bid to buy 40 F-16 fighter jets and 80 modernization kits between Turkey and the United States will begin next month, an American official told the Yetkin Report. The official said that talks over the F-16 are separate from the F-35 on legal and technical grounds, as the return of Turkey to the F-35 program is no longer a subject of negotiations. Poland's border guards thwarted 599 illegal attempts to cross the country's border from Belarus in the past 24 hours, the Polish border guard said in a statement on Twitter on Wednesday, adding that three people, including a Russian national, had been detained for aiding refugees. More than 1,500 new COVID-19 cases were registered in Armenia yesterday. 69 people died. 